Hi, Christy with Guy Post of Wellness here. Today I wanted to talk about honesty and the ABCs to wellness. And honesty, I think, is a very powerful topic. Um, I think I'm going to talk about it in a little bit different way than uh, a lot of people think about honesty because my big focus is really going to be about self-honesty first because honesty is the best policy, but if it begins with self-honesty and kindness, because this is one of the things that I found as I have been growing up as an adult is I spent a lot of years lying to myself about things, whether it was about decisions that I had made, mistakes that I had made, just a lot of different things, um, taking accountability for things and by lying to myself about those things, it, it didn't even seem like I was not being honest with other people. And so I think it's really important to understand that honesty starts with yourself first. And the other part about honesty that I think is really important is about it doesn't have anything to do with being cruel. My husband used to use the phrase brutal honesty. I'm going to be brutally honest. And and I finally just was like, but well, why does honesty have to be brutal? Now, I realize there are times when giving honest feedback may hurt the other person uh, because they choose to be hurt by it, because it could be something that's difficult to hear. But that doesn't mean it has to be delivered in a brutal way or it has to be delivered in a cruel way. Um, so I think that that's where it's really important in looking at how to be honest is as important as being honest. And again, when we start with ourselves, being honest with ourselves, I find that if we talked to our friends and loved ones, the way we talk to ourselves in our heads, we wouldn't have any friends and loved ones. We are so hard on ourselves and we say such hurtful things to ourselves that aren't necessarily true. We tell ourselves stories about all of our failures and things like that. So I think it's important to understand that by being honest with ourselves, it doesn't mean being cruel and being honest with ourselves also means recognizing the things that are good about ourselves and the things that are bad about ourselves. And then also understanding the truth versus honesty, things can be true, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be shared, um, that you have to tell every everything to everybody um, in, in that type of situation, because I think it's important to understand too that there's a place for the truth. And when I think about being honest and being truthful, I think about, um, you know, when somebody asks your opinion on something, this is probably the best example I can give. First of all is what you're providing. Is it true? Obviously you want to be factual or true, or, you know, at least give your true feelings. The second thing is, is, is it really necessary to say this thing? Especially if, if it's, let's just say somebody's wearing a, a color that doesn't look good on them. If you don't think that this pink scarf looks good on me, that could be true. <laughs> but is it necessary for you to tell me that? May not be necessary. I may like the sweater or I may just like, you know, every once in a while I just feel like wearing bright colors. I know I don't look good in them all the time, but I like the sweater. Then maybe it's not necessary to, to say anything about it. And then even so, do it in the kindest way possible. You know, that just, you look really pale today. I wonder if that, that sweater is just too, that scarf is too bright for you. Um, any of those types of things. And I know I'm using a really trivial, mundane example, but it can apply even to more significant types of truths and being honest with people. And the thing about honesty and how it impacts your wellness is by by not being honest with yourself and not being honest with others, you carry that emotional burden and you carry that negativity inside of yourself. So it affects your ability to sleep. Uh, it could affect your, your stress levels and, and some people are stress eaters. Um, so it can impact your decision-making when it comes to that. You may not feel as good, so you're not gonna move and be as physically active. Um, so it can have a definite impact on your overall wellness. And that's why I think it's important to understand how honesty plays into that. 
one of the biggest challenges for, for people when it comes to wellness too, and being honest with themselves is recognizing the things that they're doing that they know are not the best things for them to do, that are not serving their body and being honest with those choices. I talk to people with my lupus support group and different things, and I see the choices that they make. And um, I realize that they're, they're not being honest with themselves. Um, when people say, I can't afford something, are they really being honest? But I can't afford to eat healthy. Are you really being honest with yourself with that? Are you sure that there aren't ways that you could save money in order to make healthier choices? One of my clients, I wanted um, to encourage him to drink less pop and more water. Um, I wanted to crowd out the pop because he was drinking six to nine pops a day. Um, and so he said that the water in his apartment didn't uh, taste very good. So I recommended getting uh, some type of Brita filter um, or uh, zero water filter. There's a lot of different filters out there. And he said, well, how much does that cost? And I said, about $25. And he said, oh, I just don't have the money for that. So I asked him, I said, how often do you eat out every week? And it turns out that he ate out, um, he and his partner ate out every week, probably eight meals a week. And, and I asked him how much he spends on average. And it's probably about $7 per person. So I said, so if you didn't eat out for three, maybe four meals in a week, you'd have enough for that water filter. So those are the types of things that can be challenging to be honest with yourself about. And sometimes you don't even see them. And that's where me as a health coach or a good friend or somebody like that can help you with that. But again, as long as the honesty is true, it's necessary and it's delivered in a kind way. So I want you to think about how are you being honest with yourself and what are ways you can be more honest with yourself and then just think about what I mentioned about the true, necessary, and kind. Um, because there, there's a time and a place. And there are times when it's not really necessary to, to give your opinion or to give the truth or to be honest in that situation. I'm not going to go into white lies or fibs or I'm not, I'm not getting into that type of thing. I just want you to think about really honesty and, and if you're being honest with yourself and if you're going to be honest with somebody else. Um, how to deliver that in the best way so that it's received in the best way. So think about how honest are you being with your wellness and what are the areas of opportunity that you have to improve. I would love to hear your feedback and your comments below. Feel free to subscribe and uh, you'll get the next ABC's The Wellness notification soon. Be well.